What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So apparently Shawn Michaels NXT has been really good for quite some time and I've been sleeping. So I watched the last episode and the one before that and yeah, I've been sleeping. Now a few years ago when I heard Vince McMahon had his hands on the product, that's when I hit the eject button. We gotta drop the load! For me to see it go from a show that mostly catered to the indies to like WWE Junior, I just wasn't a fan of it. By the way, I always wait to the end of my videos to say this. Like and subscribe, man. What are you doing? Please? In actuality, a call-up from the main roster doesn't guarantee success. There aren't too many stars that have been champions in NXT and also champion on the main roster as well. To be honest, a lot of NXT call-ups have been released. So today I want to cover NXT stars who survived their main roster call-up. So without further ado, let's get into it. Me. Okay, so I wanted to start with The Shield just because it's the most obvious choice. Seth Rollins beat Jinder Mahal to become the first NXT champ. Dean Ambrose was essentially still Dean Ambrose. His character hadn't really changed too much until he went solo. Roman Reigns was Leiaki up until he was repackaged in NXT as Roman Reigns. So unrelated to NXT, these guys actually had a banger of a match. It was a triple threat match between the three of them in FCW. Look it up. It's so good. It's so good. But yeah, these guys became The Shield and they debuted in 2013 in a triple threat match against CM Punk, John Cena, and Ryback. From there, they kind of just ran rampant throughout WWE for the next year and a half. They ended up being undefeated for quite some time. Dean Ambrose won the United States Championship and Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns ended up winning the Tag Team Championships. The iconic penny belts. So aside from this success, they went on to be even bigger stars after Seth Rollins turns on the both. You know the story. But even aside from the initial success they've had, they've gone on to be even bigger stars. These guys are three of the top stars in the entire industry, and they've actually done it in their own specific ways. Like, Dean Ambrose went on to be John Moxley, and he put the entire company of AEW on his back, and he's represented it as well as anybody else could. Seth Rollins is the workhorse champion of WWE, and Roman Reigns is one of the biggest attractions of WWE right now. Truly one of NXT's greatest call-ups of all time. Next on the list, I have the four horsewomen. Now these women are the absolute staples of WWE's women's division. Now this group is Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Bayley, and Sasha Banks. And much like The Shield, three of them hit the main roster and they were kinda shot right into the top spot. However, Bayley gave us all a scare. Now, once Bayley was called out to the main roster, it was a bit difficult to get her I'm a hugger gimmick over. In fact, WWE outright buried it when she was kinda like refusing to get extreme with Alexa Bliss or whatever the hell that was and also the This Is Your Life segment. All just a culmination of a burial of that character. But Bailey did rise through all of that and ended up having a great heel gimmick where she was just a lot more of herself, but super obnoxious. And with her recent Royal Rumble win, I'm actually happy to say that she's gonna get her WrestleMania moment. Becky Lynch has become the biggest star in the women's division, aside from maybe one other person. Sasha Banks went on to leave the company. There are hopes that she will be back, and I also think she'll be back, but right now she is rumored to be signed with AEW. And as of this recording, Charlotte is a 14-time women's champion. Though it may be a slightly watered down 14, it's still quite the impressive feat. Okay, so next I want to mention Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn was the heart and soul of NXT while he was there. He was the NXT People's Champ all the way up until he actually won the NXT Championship. He entered John Cena's Open Challenge on Raw one time, and he actually injured himself during his entrance. This caused him to be out for a few months, but when he came back, he was ready for the main roster. 
He did a farewell tour in NXT. It wasn't an official farewell tour, but, you know, he, he stuck around for a few more months before going up to the main roster. Now, his main roster run initially a little rocky just because I could tell they didn't really know where to put him and what to do with him. But he won the Intercontinental Championship. He had a pretty OK run with that. A little bit after that, he ended up being a part of the Bloodline storyline, and his career skyrocketed from that. Now, we all knew Sammy had that in him, and he was able to sell a show. He was able to put on classic matches. He was able to be funny. This Bloodline storyline showed all ranges of Sami Zayn, and it couldn't have been better for his career. He got to main event WrestleMania, won the tag team titles with his best friend, and ever since then, he's been treated like a solid main event caliber star in WWE. And this leads me to his aforementioned best friend, Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens, much like Sami Zayn, also answered John Cena's open challenge on Raw. And he had another match with John Cena on, I believe, Battleground. And both of these matches were great. So Kevin Owens has actually had major success in WWE since joining the main roster. He's got a Universal Championship title reign. He's got a United States Championship title reign. Intercontinental Championship title reign. He main evented WrestleMania against Stone Cold. He main evented WrestleMania with Sami Zayn. I don't think a guy could ask for much more. So next we have Alexa Bliss. So Alexa Bliss in NXT had gone through so many different transformations until she ended up being a manager for Blake and Murphy. Now, she has become one of the most successful women's wrestlers in WWE history. And the thing is, nobody could have saw this coming. She was the one that wasn't handpicked. She wasn't a part of the Four Horsewomen. She was like literally outside of that group, came in, and there was just no denying that she was one of the best performers on the mic and in the ring, period. Oh, perfection. Alexa Bliss went on to be a five-time women's champion. She's been in all types of high-profile matches. And she just welcomed her first child, so congratulations. Okay, next I want to talk about Bianca Belair. Someone who also wasn't handpicked to be just a top star, but ended up being that because her gimmick is so good. It's so believable. And the way she uses her hair, like I've never seen any wrestler ever do that before. So that's just a good, unique thing about her. Right now, she's a three-time women's champion and a definite staple in the game. Okay, so last on the list, we have Big E. So Big E was the one who actually beat Seth Rollins for the NXT Championship. He had a great run with it, and once he went to the main roster, he ended up being Dolph Ziggler's bodyguard, I guess. That was their relationship. But soon later, he ended up turning on Dolph, and he had a run with the Intercontinental Championship. He ended up joining the New Day, which became one of the greatest groups in WWE history. It's kind of forgotten about because it was actually about 10 years ago they got their start, but those guys were on top of the world during their peak. He says he did it for the people, but he did it for the paycheck. Got your ass! Big E ended up winning the money in the bank and cashing that in against Bobby Lashley. Unfortunately, much like Kofi's, his was ended by Brock Lesnar, and to my and many's disappointment, that was the last time we saw Big E with the WWE Championship. He ended up injuring his neck against Mad Cat Moss, one of those aforementioned NXT release superstars, and unfortunately, we haven't seen Big E in the ring since, and it's questionable if he'll ever be able to wrestle again. So like I said, guys, just making it to the main roster isn't a guaranteed ticket to success. But at the same time, it is a great start for any superstar to make a name for themselves. That's it for this one. Again, like and subscribe, please. It really helps the channel out. If you made it this far, you might as well. You're liking it. You're enjoying it. Wear your seatbelts. Until next time, keep it cosy.